greetings everyone shubham pandey this side remember my you know post how to bypass ssl pinning in android phone so here is the video to help you a little more so if you are not if you are using any kind of uh, android device physical android device you have to root it i don't know how you're gonna do it but you have to do it for like the method i use it require rooted device once you rooted your device or the second option is download Jenny motion I prefer Jenny motion and you know that's good and download your the exposed installer and repo dot exposed dot info this is the website if you don't know how to find it then use this method the noob one the next thing is exposed download it and push it into the application or just drag and drop so here is the file note mm, Jenny motion already a rooted mm, tool so you can see it is already having a super user when open the super user set the this thing to apps and ADB in future you gonna need the ADB because so and the next thing is automatic response allow because you don't want to click allow 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 every time first thing the next step is uh, I remember the thing you know when when you download the install uh, expose installer remember it is an installer not the framework so you have to download the framework by clicking this this installer will automatically find find a suitable framework for your device right now my device is this this is the suitable version all I need to just click on the download tab uh, download button and it will download it and then I have to install it so once it install it you will see still see the cross sign all you need to just just you know slide this one or soft reboot your device if you are using a physical mobile then you have to uh, you know do a full reboot long press remember restarting then once you completed this step go to the download search SSL sorry SSK SSL unpinning go to the version tab click on the download once the download get completed you can find it into the module check it check it go to the framework do a soft reboot again now let's take a demo application mm, and remember if you are using a Jenny motion Jenny motion do not uh, come with the uh, open G apps so you know you have to install the G apps what is G apps Google Play Store and Google applications so you need to click on this and you can down uh, it will download G apps for you automatically so no issues once you uh, then you have to create your own you know Gmail address just uh, enter your favorite one here and then let's let me show you like I'm gonna test uh, or gonna demonstrate that how to bypass Twitter Twitter is a well known well, well known and well secure application so yes this will do the job and this is only for you know study purpose so do not try literal hacking oh it, it's gonna take, take some time Hmm. Next step. Remember the burp suit. We're gonna use. Go to the proxy option. Add another IP. Your system IP because uh, I prefer this one. Eight eight nine nine. My favorite number in system. The so this is your IP. This is your port number. You have to configure the same thing. I don't know why I'm getting this much pop up here. Same thing here modified in your Wi-Fi so note if you are uh, using uh, you know physical device then you have to be on same Wi-Fi noob information but you know I have to say it 889 uh, sometimes you had you need to restart your Wi-Fi router so like I did and now it will show you 
Wait a minute. Why it's taking so much time? Yes, no internet or connected. Whatever it's right. Now here's the application, Twitter one. Let me check Wi Fi. Modified 1.8.1.7 8899. That's fine. And remember, we just extracted, we need to extract a certificate file. So all you need to just export DIR, select the path of file name, and you can find it the file there. Like, let me give you an example. Here is the file. Uh, when you get the file, it will be like this. You need to rename it and type CER because of mobile application only support this method. Then if you are using Genymotion, just drag and drop. Or if you are using physical device, you need to create a Python server or any way method. You can just, you know, you need to just paste the file inside the applic mobile application. Go to uh, security, just search or search certificate install from SD. Here's the file, double click. If I click, type the name, uh, credential used to VPN and apps. I already installed it. You can check it. Oopsie. Check it from here. Trusted user. Here is the PubSuit one. CA file. So let's try to capture data. Like same IP, same IP. Check, check, check. Let's try the application. As you can see, like it is capturing the mobile thing. But what about Twitter? If I type any random value here, it will give me an error because you know it is having an SSL pinning. So now we need to bypass it. How many times I try? Like e even if I you know enter a genuine email address password, but it will not gonna work. Another time, an error occur. Let's bypass it. So remember, we installed so many tools. Why? Now I'm going to show you. Just go here. Next. Sorry, not here. Download SSL unpinning. Uh, OK, now I'm going to set this one. Bypass applied to Twitter. Let's try the Twitter application now. Same error. Let's let's remove it. Tap it again. Go to the application. Next, next. As you can see, it's, it's like start capturing API, Twitter. But let's try to log in. Wait. Let's enter SDA. Remember this SDA password is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever the number is. Click. As you can see, uh, now I can capture all the traffic using Bob Suit. Just next, next. And now here is the error. So we successfully bypassed the SSL pinning using this method. So, guys, thanks for watching. Peace. Bye bye.